Right, while I'm waiting for the uh, Seekerflex to dry on the little boxing on the top there that allows the wires to come through the roof, I'm going to fit the charge controller. So, they uh, come through the roof there, and I'm going to put the charge controller somewhere down there. And then I'm going to have a look at the wiring diagram and work out the best way of taking the wires through to the leisure batteries, which are around here. There they are and also to the cab battery, which of course is up in that direction. So uh, off we go. Okay, so um, I've got my charge controller screwed to the wall, as you can see in my uh, cupboard in the habitation area. Um, it's getting a bit dark now, so I'm not sure you'll see, but um, I've used some 20 millimeter convoluted tubing conduit like I have hang on let's see if I can like I have on the roof oh, that's better so it doesn't actually go through the ceiling obviously but it comes through and I've used some saddle clips there to hold it in place there we go and all ready to wire it up tomorrow okay so that's that and then I will go through uh, under there which takes me through behind the carver heater and then over to the habitation batteries. So I'll take you up on the roof and show you what I've done there. Okay, so back up on the roof, a couple of minutes, seconds later, there's my panel and there is my convoluted tube. I've drilled a little hole in the side there with a zip tie to hold it up off the floor and then I've used the little stick-on pads that you can get in screw fix, uh, 19 millimeter ones. I've cleaned the surface of the roof really thoroughly with isopropanol so I'm hoping they'll stay stuck but uh, if they don't I'll have to think about the solution. So there we go and then it comes around and into the unit there. Unfortunately, been a windyish day. We got some black bits there, which I have to try and clean off later. And then to stop water going down into the convoluted pipe, I've just pretty badly stuck some seeker flex in the end there. So that's the roof all done. It's going to rain tonight again, so um, I'm hoping that that will be waterproof. Almost the final bit of the wiring up or rather installation and wiring up of the solar panel. So uh, you can see that the uh, wires down from the panel itself are now in. And uh, you notice I've put a little red identifier on there to show the positive. Um, if you're going to start cutting your wires, it's easy to get muddled up to which they are. And then the extra bit of wire that came with the panel that I've cut off I've uh, installed for the leisure battery. So that goes down uh, next to the television controller and then down under there and in through the floor. And you can see if I just take you, it'll go down, it goes down in behind where the wires come in, where there's a drawer here uh, in behind the carver heater and then comes out under over the wheel arch and there they are, the two wires. Again, I've, I've not identified it as the positive. Through a 10 amp fuse, fuse holder, you get them from Halfords or online. And then I've connected the, to the battery using um, proper battery connector terminals. Although I think you can probably get away with um, just crimp connectors. Um, I, I, I type crimp connectors because the uh, crimp section of those, just draw that back a bit, you'll see. Yeah, you the crimp section though, it's actually very big for the diameter of the wire, so you might be better off with a crimp connector. Put that back. So that's it, really. Um, I've still got to do the cab battery, but essentially the wiring is exactly the same. Uh, the flashing light actually means that the, uh, the battery is charged. Um, so the other battery, the cab battery, will connect in there. Um, exactly the same principle. I have to find a way of coming down and through the floor and then take it up to the cab at the front. And uh, that will be my installation complete. So um, 
please share the video like the video do what you will uh, contact me if you want to um, details are below this video i'll also put a parts list that i used um, below the video as well so um, hope that was useful